The 2020 Ford Explorer XLT. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over the standard as well as optional packages and standalone options that are available on the XLT trim of the 2020 Ford Explorer. We call it our complete guide because we are going to cover everything. So if you're in the market for an XLT Explorer, the 2020 model year, uh, this would be a great video for you to watch so you can see what's standard and then what's also the different packages you can get and optional equipment, standalone options from the factory. Even cover some accessories at the end that you can get either from Ford or from your current, your closest Ford dealership. So hopefully this really helps you out uh, in your research for an F-150. So let's go ahead and first start with some of the safety components that are going to be standard equipment on every Explorer. Now, what I like to cover on the safety on these is uh, I really like to cover everything on the vehicle uh, because some people are looking for some information, some others. Safety is real important to a lot of people, so I do like to make sure I cover all these uh, different safety components on them. So now, let's first talk about the airbags. You have a driver and the front passenger is going to have a dual stage front airbag. That'll deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the steering wheel or to the front of the glove box or the, the dash up there. Uh, real nice uh, being able to have that uh, to give you to deploy the right size airbag uh, for you. It depends on how close you are to the steering wheel or to the front of the vehicle. Also, you're going to get side impact airbags as well. That's going to protect those from those side collisions. It's going to deploy from the side of those seats uh, on those airbags to protect the occupants and the front seat up there. Also, you're going to get knee airbag too. So your driver is going to come underneath that steering wheel and for the passenger is going to be in that gl the glove box or down towards the bottom of the dash. So to deploy those knee airbags. So if you have that front collision, severe one, it'll help protect those occupants from that front collision there. Also safety canopy airbag that's going to come down and deploy down beside the vehicle so that way it'll protect everyone in the in the vehicle from any breaking of glass and that kind of thing and any kind of rollover. Also this will have advanced track with roll stability control to help you keep you on your intended path and hopefully not have that rollover situation so if you go in that curve a little too fast maybe it's a little slick out it's going to use a series of brakes around the via on the different wheels to keep you on your intended path uh, so that you can help out with that. Now if you do get in an accident and you happen to be off the road, it does have o SOS post crash alert system. It's going to honk the horns and flash the lights if you're off the road in an accident. Also it comes with 911 assist. So if you Bluetooth your phone in, you can call 911 directly uh, being able to do that instead of like, uh, relying on OnStar or a third party provider. So that way you can call them if you're in an accident, call 911 directly, uh, easily be able to uh, do those different commands, uh, voice commands right there. So it comes in real handy. Also, let's talk about the uh, different uh, ways to protect everyone inside the vehicle. Let's talk about the rear seat and those kids back there in that second row. It does have the latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children. So if you have those booster seats, those car seats, you can securely uh, uh, buckle those in uh, to the back of those uh, seats with those little latch system back there. Also, you do have the child safety locks. It's gonna lock these doors out, so that way those kids can't open those doors when you're going down the road. Uh, with that, uh, even sometimes, of course, when it locks them, those lock rear doors won't be able to be opened, uh, but it does really help for that and keep you uh, keep those uh, doors shut for you. So, some great ways to really protect you on it. Uh, some other things that I wanna talk about as well, uh, we'll talk about the standard equipment now on your Explorers, and we're seeing that roll out on all the other vehicles, is the Copilot 360. We're gonna talk about some of the components we moved to the front, but one of them I wanna talk about right now as part of the safety features and that is the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So what's great about it, it does have front collision warning uh, and it does have brake support as well as pedestrian detection. So if you're driving along, uh, the person in front of you is stopped or going much slower than you, you're not hitting your brake, it's going to alert you and let you know that with a series of tones uh, and lights. I believe on the dash now, uh, you're going to have those tones. I think a message comes up on the dash uh, now for the newer uh, vehicles. And then if you don't brake, it's going to initiate the brake support. So that way you will brake so you can help with that. Also, you're going to get post-collision braking as well. So if it doesn't and they're really, they're if you're going way too fast or whatever it might be and you end up hitting them it will have pro collision braking if you're not able to move over to the brake before you have that collision it'll break the vehicle for you so that's a great feature to have now something that maybe not a safety feature but I think is a great addition to the Explorers new for the the Ford Explorer lineup and that's a side wind stabilization so in the past uh, we, it still does have the e-pass so that really helps out with steering when you're going a little bit in the post parking lots and stiffens up that steering when you're on the highway but the side wind stabilization helps with that side winds as well here in Kansas it's not completely flat everywhere but Western Kansas uh, and right around here you you do get a lot of uh, those crosswinds 
uh, coming through, especially if you come through some hills, you hit that cross when they hit you and this will help stabilize that so that way you're not going to get pushed around from side to side and have to use uh, that steering and make it a, a struggle for you when you're driving on the highway. So some great features that are now standard equipment on your uh, Explorer lineup, uh, but so, uh, great safety features to help say, keep everyone safe in the vehicle. Now let me just kind of tell you where the XLT falls in the lineup for the different trims on the Explorer. Now for most of your retail purchases and most people watching this video, XLT is where it's going to start. So uh, it's going to uh, cover all the different uh, standard equipment that we're going to cover in this video is going to be uh, pretty much where your Explorers will start. There is a base trim that's only going to be available for your fleet dealers. So just like they did with the uh, Expedition, uh, not making that available for retail purchase. So for most people watching this video, this is where you're going to start and this is where we're going to probably see most of the purchases are going to be on the XLT trim here. This is a rear wheel drive 200 a with no added options and it stickers around 37.7 on this particular vehicle. With dealer discounts and rebates are going to have come out eventually, uh, you're going to be able to see this in a very good price point uh, for the midsize uh, SUV category. And they really did make the Explorer to be an adventurous type of vehicle. So it is really an SUV. So they brought in that SUV name and it really ties to that. This is really made to be able to go off-roading. So it's going to have front and rear independent suspension on this and front and rear stabilizer bars. So it really is uh, made to be able to do some off-roading but have a great ride with the independent suspension when you're in town making those errands driving back and forth to work taking the kids to the ball games and that kind of thing uh, so it's gonna be very uh, fun to drive as well as very comfortable to drive to in this vehicle so uh, this is available in rear-wheel drive or it's available in four-wheel drive and your four-wheel drive will come with the intelligent four-wheel drive and the train management system. So just like we did see in the past, that train management system, you do have the, the drive mode uh, dial that you go ahead and just turn that dial and you shows you on the dash uh, or on the instrument cluster productivity screen uh, what the different drive modes for that situation. So you just turn it to whether it be uh, snow, um, whether it be sand, whether the driving conditions or the terrain that you're on, and you uh, go ahead and uh, change it to that. Also now it's gonna come with an eco mode and an eco coast. Uh, coach for the uh, Explorer lineup now. So that makes it a little bit better. It, it does have the Eco Coach uh, assistant, so that way it helps you be able to be more efficient with your SUV uh, to giving you a better fuel economy. So let's go ahead and talk about the engine that's standard on this. The 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine is the only engine available on the XLT trim. Uh, and that engine is a very comparable engine. You have 300 horsepower with 310 pound-feet of torque. So lots of power, a lot of performance. It's going to get up and go just like you need it to. Uh, and it's going to be uh, pretty much cover about everybody in this. Now, that is going to come with the auto start-stop technology. And what that means is when you pull up to the stoplight, stop sign, you press the brake, it's going to shut the vehicle off. As soon as you let go of the brake, it's going to go ahead and turn it back on. So if that is uh, something, I've heard some people complain about that technology and not liking that, uh, that's real easy to be able to deactivate. There's a little auto button right there, uh, right in front of the console, where you can just go ahead and press that button and it will deactivate it for that trip. You will have to do that for each trip, uh, but it is something that a lot of times I'll leave that on, uh, and then maybe if it's hot outside and I need that air conditioning, it might turn it off. Uh, at that time. So uh, it, it works really well. Even if you're at a stop sign and you barely let go just a little bit, it will turn the engine on and you still have your brake press for the most part. So uh, that's going to be uh, part of this. 10 speed automatic transmission with select shift. So 10 speed automatic transmission is what you're seeing in the XLT. Uh, so really nice upgrade from the six speed to the 10 speed from the 2019 model year. Uh, so great uh, select shift transmission means that you can shift it up and down like a manual transmission when you put it in that manual mode there uh, using those paddle shifters behind the steering wheel there. Even on your XLT will have the paddle uh, shifters on it. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the uh, other uh, great benefits as part of that Copilot 360. Uh, one of them I want to talk about right now is the lane keeping system. Lane keeping system, standard equipment on your XLT. So what that's going to give you is three components. One of them is your driver alert. And driver alert uh, means it's going to be able to pay attention to whether or not you're taking the hands off the steering wheel too often. Maybe you're using the lane keeping system too much as well. It's going to alert you with a message on the dash and a little tone uh, that you uh, need to be more alert. That is something you can activate and deactivate uh, if you want to. That's something I deactivate in my vehicle, uh, but you can activate and deactivate it in the settings screen. Also, as part of that, you're going to have the lane keeping aid and the alert system. Now, the alert system means that when you start to leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know that you've left your lane. And you can 
uh, change the severity on the on the that alert as well to vibrate a little bit harder or a little bit softer depends on what you want there it usually comes from the factor in normal you also have the aid system the aid system means that instead of leaving your lane and, and, and vibrating the steering wheel it's going to help use torque vectoring to bring you back and keep you in your lane it does need to see those lines and know that lines are there so some of those highways that have faded lines uh, for the, uh, the your uh, markers it might have a difficulty on those uh, also it needs to register those by first being in the middle of your lane so just keep that in mind but it's a great system i love the lane keeping system glad it is standard equipment on these now let's look at the uh, design up here let's first talk about these headlights all led headlights on this so your low beam as well as your high beam are led so great features to have that in fact not only your high beams led they also are automatic features so you have the auto high beams as standard equipment as part of the copilot 360 so uh, and also the automatic headlights too so it means if you have an auto setting they're going to turn on automatically when it gets dark and then turn off when it gets light one thing we did find out find out if you turn the vehicle on and you turn those headlights off uh, when you shut the vehicle off and turn it back on, it automatically kicks it over to the auto headlights again. So it really wants to make sure you're safe and having those headlights on uh, when it's dark outside. Uh, also, you're going to have the LED uh, signature lighting that lights up up here on the top of the headlights. So that is standard equipment on the XLT. Uh, great feature as well here. Uh, so uh, some, some great LEDs here on the front of the vehicle. Also look at the grill. I love the look of the grill. So it is a kind of a high gloss black grill here with the chrome bars that go across there. So I love the design, the look on that front grill. Uh, I think it's really sharp on the vehicle. You will see some molded in black and some areas down in here as well as down below on the lower part of that bumper really kind of protects it. Uh, a little bit low cost. As you go up in different trims, you'll have some of those maybe painted uh, and some uh, different look uh, from that. Uh, and then you do have some black accents and black uh, headlight assemblies in here as well with some nice bright chrome in there too. So great look here on the front of it uh, is, uh, to kind of really start the Explorer video. Let's go ahead and move around to the side and check out some other great features. Now as we move around to the side, there's a really cool feature I want to show you that is kind of new for the 2020 model year uh, for this, and that is when you pop the hood. So I, I'm going to show you here is a little clip of the, uh, the latch here. You just pull it twice. So you just pull it once and then pull it a second time right there. And then when you come over here to the hood itself to lift it up, you don't have a latch to worry about trying to find. So I love that feature, just a small detail, but uh, you don't have to worry about it. So pulling it once allows it to release, but when you pull it that second time, that's uh, go ahead and it turns that down. So that way you can go ahead and lift it all the way up. So I love that feature, small uh, attention to detail there, but I did want to point that out as a, a great feature. The wheels here are an 18 inch sparkle silver painted aluminum wheel. We've seen, kind of seen similar designs in the past. I really like the split spoke uh, wheel here. Gives it a great look and a nice standard wheel. Of course, different uh, tires are gonna be available as standard equipment, all season tires is what you're gonna normally see with some different options as optional equipment there. The mirrors, does have a molded in black mirror cap here. Power heated mirror for this. And you also get security approach lamp that's gonna light the ground beside the vehicle. But one of the most important features is the Bliss system. Bliss, is, uh, Bliss with cross traffic alert is a, an equipment feature that is part of the Copilot 360 that is standard equipment on all of your Explorers. So what that means is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in a corner of that mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. If they're on your left side, it'll be on your uh, driver's side mirror. The right side will be on the other mirror. And then as you're backing up, someone's gonna cross your path behind you. It's gonna put a light in the side in the mirror on the side they're coming from. Puts a message on the dash telling you if they're coming from the left or the right in a series of tones and it's not safe to back up. Love the uh, Bliss system, glad it's gonna be standard equipment on pretty much all your vehicles moving forward in uh, different uh, model lineups. Uh, great feature on it. Uh, my Expedition did not come with it on uh, standard equipment. I made sure it got that package because I think it's a very important package. Also, if you're towing a trailer, it's going to include your trailer as well. So you will need to um, be able to show, you know, you can set it up in your settings to uh, how long that trailer is and it's going to go ahead and monitor your blind spot of your trailer as well. Like your Expedition and your F-150s and uh, some of those other features, I have that list for those as well. So love that. Uh, the bottom part of that rocker molding down there is the molded in black there, but I love the attention 
to adding the chrome accent on, on there, as well as the stamped Explorer below that, uh, giving it that nice look over there. Of course, all your SUVs have the uh, molded in black there, as well as your Willet moldings to kind of protect those from rocks and different things getting up there. They assume you're gonna take this, you know, out camping or off-roading a little bit, so that way it kind of protects it uh, that way. So I, I love that. Body color door handles as well is a nice touch. You don't have the molded in black door handles, but body colored for those. I love the look of those as well, nice sleek look. This does have your intelligent access, so allow you to leave that key fob in your pocket. Just walk up, put your hands in a door handle. It's gonna automatically unlock the vehicle. You'll allow you to get in and out of the vehicle. And you can have it set to unlock just the driver's door. All the doors uh, really is up to your preference. Uh, you also have that, that setting under the locks for that. Uh, also, when you unlock the vehicle and hit that unlock once, uh, also tells it if it unlocks just the driver's door or all the doors. Uh, let's uh, look at the remote real quick before we move on. So you can see that the keyless entry remote. So the key is actually, if you pull this lever, it's in here. So for some reason the vehicle is dead, you need to get in there to pop the hood. Uh, you'll have a key to be able to do that uh, in an exposed lock right there as well. And then of course you have your lock unlock and your release unlocking the rear lift gate as well right there. So, And then uh, this does have the, the secure lock passive or the, uh, the keypad on here on the pillar too, that invisible keypad, which I really like. So you just swipe it, put your code in there and you can get in and out. And the benefit of that, uh, you do have the intelligent access, but if you leave the keys inside or maybe you don't have the keys on you and wanna access the vehicle, you can set your own special code and be able to do that. And what's great now, you can set that code with the screen. You don't have to be able to figure out your code, pull it out uh, and look in the, the owner's manual for the code. Now, when you have the vehicle running, you go into the screen and you can change that code right through there. So great features there. Been doing a video on that. Uh, that's why I know that. So you also have privacy glass here in these back windows. The back quarter panels as well as the back glass just keeps it a little bit cooler looks nice as well on these uh, vehicles with the privacy glass on them the molded in black uh, roof rack rails up here uh, crossbars are going to be something we'll cover as optional equipment uh, and then the easy full campus fill a door as well so you just pop that open push it uh, don't have a cap to worry about leaving behind getting your hands dirty you just go ahead and put the nozzle in there fill it up uh, of course, just shut up when you're done, uh, which is great. Uh, great uh, that's a really nice feature. And you don't have to worry about people putting things in there because you can't really open that with your hand. Uh, so you can open that, but there's a second one back behind there. A lot of people don't realize that, but uh, there is the black door here, but then there's another one back behind, and it doesn't open unless you have the perfect size nozzle, uh, which are the fuel pumps. Uh, so you'll need a, the funnel in here, and this one, if you want to be able to, to use it, you need to fill it up because even your gas cans won't be the right size. So uh, some great protection there and a great system they've had on a lot of their vehicles in the past. So now we're moving to the back and there's some really neat features here on the back cargo area that I really want to show you. First, let's talk about the look on the back of it. You do have the body colored rear spoiler here on the top. It does have a molded in under here as well with the center high mounted stoplight and a high gloss back uh, finish for these pieces here as well as the, the back one. So that gives you that floating uh, roof line design here a lot of people like. Rear defrost with rear wiper back here so you can keep that glass free of any kind of uh, snow and ice and that kind of thing. LED tail lights as well as your backup lights. So all LEDs on the outside of the vehicle, LEDs are so much brighter, they last longer. Uh, so uh, just a great look uh, to those as well. You do have the chrome applique back here with the Explorer stamp on there. Rear view camera with the washer back here. So you're able to see as you're backing up, also reverse sensing. So you're also gonna get alerted as you get closer to anything as you're backing up. So reverse sensing standard equipment on all your XLTs. So I uh, love the look of that. Reflectors as well right here, molded in black on the rear bumper, kind of protect it, as well as there's a bumper cover on these here too. Uh, that's an upgrade from, I guess, really the XLT is the standard equipment. I'm thinking from the base to the XLT, but uh, that's gonna be standard equipment on all your retail purchase vehicles. Dual exhaust as well under here. So real great look and design here in the back of it. Also, you do get power lift gate. So you can, if the vehicle is unlocked, just hit the lever under here. Uh, actually, yeah, right over here, there's actually an arrow right here. So you just press that, or you can use your remote. So if I hit the remote twice, it's gonna power lift gate it up. So power lift gate, standard equipment on all XLTs. It's just great. Now this here in the rear cargo area, actually before we get into that, I do wanna talk about this, uh, the rear lift gate. Uh, some people don't always know that you can actually adjust how high this opens up. Uh, we have it set from the factory to lift up all the way, but you can actually have it come down a little bit lower if you wanna be able to hit this button and not use your remote uh, when you need to shut it if you're a little bit shorter, so you can just press and hold the button and it's gonna go ahead and save it right there. It's gonna go ahead and save it to that, that location. So now if you open it up, Go ahead and uh, show you that, how that works. What you'll do is when you go to open it up the next time, it'll stop it at that spot that you saved. So just hit it twice 
and it's going to lower, uh, raise it up and stop at that point. Uh, so then, of course, if you want to adjust it, you can. So that's, that's really nice having that. Also, there's a lock button back here. And what that allows you to do is in, uh, in the past, you would uh, go ahead and, and you know, shut your lift gate. And then you need to get your remote out to lock the doors or go around and, and press the intelligent access to lock it. Well, now you can just press this button back here and it locks the doors from back here, then you can shut your lift gate. So a little touch, uh, so those little details that I really like, uh, and I like to point those out. Now here in the rear cargo area, you're gonna see it looks a little different than the 19, uh, because instead of those seats folding back into the rear cargo area and having that, that well in here, now you kind of have a flat load level in here with a compartment to be able to put some things in. So let's go ahead and open this door up. This door not only opens up, but actually comes out if you need it to. So if you uh, wanna uh, take it out, you can uh, also in here, uh, carpeted mats. Carpeted mats are standard equipment if you're wondering that for the foot wells in the front as well as the back seats. Uh, now it gives you a little bit more room in here to be able to see some a little different cargo and then you lift that up and that's where you're going to see your spare tire under there as well so uh, you're going to have the spare tire under there so hopefully I got a good clip for you of that. Uh, and then uh, what's great about this is you do have some little compartments over here and you have these little shelves that you can pull out. And so what's great is you can put them in uh, several different spots. Uh, so they are dedicated to that particular angle. So the left one you can put in either this spot or you can put it in here in the middle uh, as well and put it down there. So what's great about it is you can divide some things. So if you have things rolling around, you can put those in there and divide it up if you want to. Put this door back on there if you want as well. You have some openings there. So a couple of different ways that you can be able to manage uh, your cargo with these little uh, compartments, these little uh, dividers that are integrated right into there. So go ahead and shut that. Also, because of that, uh, the seat does still fold flat to the floor. It does have a rear independent suspension. So you can be still fold these flat, these seats down, giving you flat low, low level in here. What I like is the 2020, they've, uh, instead of having a, a three-step process to lower the seat down like we did see in 19, where you had to lay the headrest down and then flip one lever to lay the backrest down, another lever to go ahead and release the seat cushion to, uh, to fold back in. Now it's all integrated, it's a one-step process. So if I just pull the strap at the top, it's gonna lower the headrest and the seat. So if I just pull it and just lower it down. Great one step process. So Ford, you've done a good job there. I really love that. And then the strap right here is pretty easy to get to. You just pull that back up. You will have to bring the headrest back into place if you want those headrests up, but uh, a great system. I really love it. It's nice and easy to do and to lower those down and get it back into place. Uh, so a good job there. There's a PowerPoint back here if you're needing that for those going camping or something. So you have that back here as well as some little hooks for bags and there's loops down here. So I'm assuming that uh, there's some cargo netting, uh, maybe in the glove box, I'll look and see before we get to the inside, but uh, probably some cargo netting that you can put back here as well, like you've seen in the past, uh, putting those small items in there. So love all the features in here. Let's go ahead and put these uh, carpeted mats back in here, and then we'll go ahead and move to the inside. Now moving to the interior, uh, this does have two different options for your interior color. You have your ebony interior, like you're seeing with this particular vehicle, so we'll give you some clips of this one. Uh, starting with the dash across here. Uh, so you have your all ebony, your dash, the lower part of the door, the dash, as well as your doors, armrests, uh, the floor, the headliner, everything's gonna be ebony inside this vehicle. I uh, love the uh, trim across here. I wanna give you a close up of it. It's called stretch diamond is what they call that. Uh, nice little applique that you're gonna see across the dash here uh, on that particular vehicle. And then more of a silver finish here on the center uh, console here area. So a little bit different look there. The other color here for you is the sand Sandstone. sandstone is a, a new uh, verbiage for you. That's going to be your tan interior. Uh, usually uh, you're still going to have some ebony throughout the vehicle uh, with the environment being sandstone. Usually the lower part as well as the inserts in the door will be that tan interior and your seats will be tan as well and sometimes even your headliner. So I'll give you some clips off Ford's website. I haven't looked it up myself uh, quite yet uh, but we'll give you those clips uh, so that you have a good idea of the difference between the ebony and what the sandstone is going to look like. It's going to be a standard equipment. is going to be your cloth seating surfaces. So are you, uh, nice unique cloth seats uh, so a little different design there so you get some close-ups of that so um, pretty comfortable seats and I do like the bolsters they kind of uh, fit you uh, real snug uh, and keep you into place and uh, uh, for me and for my size I really like that how that uh, is, uh, fits uh, to my body here also you do have for the driver a 10-way power adjustable seat so you have your uh, seat cushion as well as your seat back and your power lumbar over here the, main, the, driver, the passenger seat up here will be a manual, a four-way manual adjustment, so you can slide up forward and back. 
uh, and as well as your uh, backrest here too. So, uh, so you're going to have that uh, for the, the the passenger seat. Standard equipment for the second row is going to be bucket seats. Uh, we'll talk about some different optional configurations. I think there is an optional bench seat. We'll get into that in just a little bit. So bucket seats, those will slide forward and back. You'll have a little console as well on the floor where you can put uh, has some cup holders in there as well. Uh, behind the console up here for your XLTs, you're going to have two USB ports. You're going to also have climate control, uh, and uh, you'll have the auxiliary climate controls back here. This will have a tri-zone climate uh, control system, so you're going to have some vents back here. Uh, so, and then, uh, of course, those two USB ports. Kids will like that, being able to power those different devices back there. Third row seat, seats two as well back there, just like in the previous years. So you do have the, uh, we mentioned the 50-50 split bench seat where you can lay those seats down as well. And with the rear independent suspension, you have a little more leg room than some other vehicles. Here on the door, power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for those windows. So it means you just press it, it's gonna go down, you don't have to hold it uh, for that right there. Leather wrap steering wheel is standard equipment on your XLT, so I love the uh, love leather wrap steering wheel. It's just a nice soft touch to this. Uh, you do have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so a lever is over here on the left side. Drop that down, it'll go up and down, forward and back there. Uh, and so you can be able to adjust that for any size driver. Uh, looking at the steering wheel itself, there's controls here on the left side. Up on the top part is going to be the cruise control. So uh, you, uh, that's where you can adjust all your cruise, cruise control uh, settings there. Below that is where you can see some audio controls. So uh, your volume controls and even muting it right there on the left side. The right side over here on the top is going to be your productivity information screen. So uh, you can control everything up and down uh, with the, those controls there. And you're going to see it as a six and a half inch LCD screen. So really nice. Even standard equipment is a nice LCD screen. Uh, I did see a few clips of that earlier when we talked about the different uh, drive modes you have. Uh, so great look uh, to it there. And a pretty nice screen there with your tag and your speedometer there. And that's where you can control all those settings right there. And then below that chrome accent there, you're going to see is for your Bluetooth controls. So you can make and receive phone calls uh, and all those, and also some adjustments for your audio controls as well. Uh, when you're not, first, if you want to use uh, those buttons, uh, you can just use those. If you're the other buttons for the your phone, uh, it would be once you activate it with the voice command. So that's how you're going to adjust uh, that right there. So push button start is uh, located right here. Uh, so real nice and easy to get to. So again, an intelligent access getting in. So you don't have to get the keys out to get in and out of it, locking and unlocking it or to start the vehicle, which is a nice convenience for you there. Uh, for the climate control, dual zone climate up here, uh, tri-zone, so it's a tri-zone system because there is rear climate in the back as well. Auto climate control up here, and I like the look here uh, for the 2020 model year. I love the, the switches and how you, they just kind of flip up and down and move that way. Uh, I love that look as well as your fan uh, buttons, uh, the plus and minus, so uh, a nice little look to that. For your audio controls, AM, FM, MP3 player, no CD player. It will also have uh, the Sirius XM satellite radio, a standard equipment on all XLTs. Uh, six speaker audio sound system uh, with this nice eight inch touchscreen. Sync 3 is standard equipment on your XLT. All your XLTs will come with this. So real nice, a little bit different and intuitive look to it uh, for your explorers. So we'll get into that. I'll uh, hopefully do a little video on this uh, this screen, the Sync 3 screen here. Um, but I love the, the look of it. And that's where you're gonna see your rear view camera come into view, as well as you're gonna be able to uh, control your audio settings and your entertainment settings uh, through this screen right here too. And we'll get into some other features that you can do with that uh, here when we talk about different optional equipment here in just a little bit. Up here in the mirror, you do have a day-night mirror, so it does have a little lever, so you'll uh, flip that if those cars come up behind you with those bright lights. On the overhead console, you do have a little sunglass bin up here, so you can put those sunglasses in there and be able to tuck that away there, and that way you don't have to worry about taking up any other compartments. You see the lights here, of course, we have those turned on right now, uh, so you can have a, a night. And I love, though, when you have those off, they have like a little blue lighting to those uh, so that's a uh, really cool uh, little lights when you have the vehicle turned on. Uh, so that's a really cool effect right there. Let's talk about the console area here. This is up here is called the Media Hub. You just press the chrome uh, little lever right there. So just press that and it's going to unlock it, uh, open it up. And you look inside, you're going to have a PowerPoint in there. You're going to have a USB port, a smart USB port, as well as a USB type C uh, input there. So some of those different phones and devices are starting to have those type C's that you can plug those in and a big compartment in here to be able to put that cell phone down in there and tuck it away. There's even a slot over here for cords to come through. So if you need to plug it in, 
pull that cord through, uh, you can do that as well. And that way you can shut this uh, this door and lay things even here on top if you wanted to. A little slot right there. Uh, usually uh, what their thought is on that is if you have that key in your pocket, you want to take it out of your pocket for your drive, you can just slide it in there and you don't have to have it in your pocket. Also, uh, you do have your uh, cup holders as well right here. Uh, talk about the switches here. You do have your rotary uh, uh, dial uh, shifter here. You do have also your uh, emergency breakers right there. And the button right behind that is your auto hold. Auto hold is standard equipment on an XLT. We haven't really seen it in the Ford lineup much, but you can actually, if you're stopped in the stoplight, you want to uh, you know, relax your foot, you can hit that button right there. It activates the auto hold. You can take your foot off of the brake. So great convenience, especially if maybe you're even on a steep hill and you're afraid you can't transition over for you might drift back. Uh, that comes in real handy there too. Of course, in these uh, four over here we've seen, uh, the one here on the left uh, on the top is your auto start stop. You also uh, have your traction control uh, switches to the right, and the ones down below are the switches we used for the different drive modes. So even on the uh, this this vehicle here, even the rear wheel drive is going to have a slippery as well as a tow haul mode, uh, and even a, 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 a I think it's called a trail mode as well. So even the, those vehicles will get some other options for you. You'll have more with your four wheel drive system and the train management system, but you're still going to have uh, quite a few that you can use. Uh, don't forget about that eco mode as well uh, with those switches right there. A little tray right here to be able to put the cell phone in there if you want to. Now open up this uh, padded uh, console here so that uh, padded armrest for those in the front seat to be able to use. Open it up. You do have a tray in here that you can take out. A little grip at the, on the bottom of that to be able to uh, coins and that kind of things that will slide around in there when you're driving. And then inside a deeper compartment uh, with another little mat in the bottom, a little grippy mat as well as it does have a PowerPoint in here. It's also illuminated in there and even has a slot for those cords to come through. So if you need to power another device, uh, you can do that with this uh, PowerPoint in here and having those cords come through and even put that phone right there if you need to. So uh, great equipment. I think I've covered everything. Oh, one last thing I want to talk about is the four pass connect. So this does come with four pass connect as standard equipment on your XLT. Allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. So it's a free app you download and you know, put your vehicle in there with the VIN number. You confirm it with a modem in the vehicle and then that way you can use a great a lot of features with this. You can make and receive phone calls. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere and schedule remote start times with your uh, vehicle as well. Locate your vehicle. A lot of great features that uh, I use it all the time with my vehicle. I love using it. Also gives you the Wi-Fi hotspots up to 10 different devices in the vehicle too. So uh, some great uh, features within that Ford Pass app. I uh, definitely want to make sure you activate that. Most of the dealerships are going to ask you to do that. Uh, something that Ford wants to do because you're going to get some great Ford rewards uh, going in the future where you get some points for purchasing vehicles, uh, having you getting your vehicle serviced at a Ford dealer. You're going to start getting some loyalty points with that. So definitely want to make sure you download and activate that and activate your, lo your loyalty rewards as well to be able to take advantage of all the different uh, money you might spend with Ford and getting some of that money back with some free oil changes and things like that. Now we're gonna talk about that 202A equipment route. For 2020, there's not a 201A, there's a 200 and 202A. So this includes uh, four features within this pack, this uh, equipment group. Uh, first one to talk about here on the outside is gonna be the LED fog lights. So you already have the LED low beam and high beam headlights. Now you're gonna have LED fog lights as well down here. Really fills up that open slot down here. Just makes sense, it just really uh, needs this uh, feature here. Also, the front skid plate up here it is going to be painted silver up there, but a real nice look, kind of dresses it up on the front and gives it a, a great dynamic look here on the front. Also, uh, another feature that's going to be part of this equipment group is your remote start. So you can already use Ford Pass Connect to remote start the vehicle if you get your phone out, open the app. But if you're close enough, you want to just remote start it, you can use the remote. So you'll get an upgraded remote uh, to this with a uh, two with the circle around it. That is your remote start button. So you just lock it, press that twice, and it's going to remote start the vehicle. And then if you need to shut that off, you can just press and hold it. So uh, in the settings screen under the remote start, there are some features on how, the duration that you want the vehicle to remote start for, 5, 10, 15 minutes. So it'll run for that long and then shut off. Uh, I think you can cycle through that twice uh, before it deactivates it uh, for any more. But you can set that up in there. You can also set up some other features uh, that are going to be a great benefit when you go up to some other equipment groups in a way of remote starting, maybe heated seats uh, and that kind of thing, as well as your climate uh, to being and having that defrost come on. So let's go ahead and move inside. A couple other features on the inside I want to talk about. 
Now here on the interior, part of the 202A equipment group, you're going to be upgraded with your ActiveX seats. Now, uh, Ford's not calling them leather seats uh, because I don't think they're genuine leather because they want to kind of save that terminology for your limited and for your platinum uh, when they get more a premium leather seat. Uh, but I have a vehicle, an Expedition that XLT that has the ActiveX seats and uh, they really do feel like leather to me. So uh, the Ford's not quite calling them a leather. So I've had some people ask, are they leather seats? Not technically, uh, but then they really feel like it. So real nice seat, very comfortable seat as well. And it's going to wipe off any stains. And that's usually the main reason people get leather is they want to be able to wipe that seat off. Now I have those stains soak into those cloth seats and this will do that purpose here. Also, you're going to get upgraded with the power seat. Now earlier I said uh, four-way manual and I did give you a clip of the power seat adjustment. Uh, part of the 202A equipment group is a four-way power passenger seat that just controls that seat cushion and now you're going to also uh, get upgraded to an eight-way power passenger seat that's going to give you power recline as well as power lumbar now we're going to talk about a couple packages and the first two I want to talk about are going to be available on the 200 or 202A equipment group. So this first one is going to be called the Comfort Package. So this is a great addition to that. We'll probably order about all of our 202A equipment groups with this package because of the added benefits to that. And the first one I'll talk about is going to be the heated seats. So you're going to get heated seats not only here in the front seat but also the second row seat heated seats. So whether it be the 200A with the cloth seats or the 202A with the active X seats heated seats for the uh, quad heated seats so you driver and front passenger as well as the second row for those two outside seats also you're going to get heated steering wheel as part of this package so it's going to be a great benefit the heated steering wheel as well as those heated seats will be also applied to when you use a remote start and you have it in that auto setting so that way it'll heat up those uh, seats as well as the steering wheel when you're remote starting your vehicle so heated steering wheel one of my favorite features uh, on this package here also you get the windshield wiper de-icer so a great uh, nice feature uh, in Kansas in the winter time when it's snowing ice outside you can defrost that windshield just fine uh, but then those windshield wipers get wet uh, having the windshield wiper de-icers make it to where they could still be used being able to wipe any kind of snow or ex excess ice off of the windshield so great uh, feature here this is a great packet to get again available on the 200a or 202a equipment group the next package I want to talk about that is available on the 200 or 202A equipment group is going to be your Class 3 trailer tow package. Now, that, this vehicle doesn't have it on it, uh, but if it did, your trailer tow uh, would be uh, right under here. I'll give you a clip from another vehicle uh, that I did yesterday, a, a video on the Platinum that has that tow package on it, so you can see what it's going to look like on the vehicle, as well as it's going to come with your 4-pin and 7-pin wiring, so you can be able to pull the different trailers you have. And again, that blind spot will monitor the blind spot of your trailers as well when you're doing that. Also, when you get that package, it's also going to come with the cargo area management system. So in here, kind of talked about this earlier, when you uh, pull this up in here, down in there, you're going to get an all-weather uh, mat that goes underneath here. That's part of that cargo area management system. You're going to also get a cargo cover that's going to be able to cover down. So if you move these seats down, you can put that cargo cover across the back and kind of protect it so people can't see the different belonging. So when you get the tow package, it'll also come with those other two features as part of what they call the cargo area management system. The last package I want to talk about is available only on your 202A equipment group. So it requires you to get that equipment group uh, for this, uh, this package. And it's called the Copilot 360 Assist Plus. So it's going to include some great technology and safety features, I believe, uh, that are safety features. So one of them I want to talk about is your uh, the new adaptive cruise control with stop and go. It includes some extra benefits now. So if you know what adaptive cruise is, if you have that cruise set to that adaptive setting, uh, you can adjust that gap. So as you come up behind someone, you go in a certain speed with that cruise set, it's going to slow you down to go their speed so you don't uh, come up and rear in them. If when they resume or you pass them and it's safe to resume, it'll resume back up for you. So even bring you to a complete stop if you're in that stop and go type uh, rush hour traffic. So great benefit. You don't have to use your brakes so much uh, and it uh, works beautiful on that. So also with that, they have the new intelligent feature which gives you the speed sign recognition that goes along with that. So now it also sees the signs. So you can have your tolerance set anywhere from I'm not sure what it's set up to, but I know it can go up to five miles over the speed limit. So if you like to go about five over, you can have that adaptive cruise set for maybe 70 in a 65 zone. 
Uh, if the speed, uh, the, you know, the speed limit, you know, go ahead and it raises to 75 and it sees that sign that says 75, it'll then increase your speed for you without you having to adjust it on your, uh, your own. So great benefit to that. That speed sign recognition is a new technology for 2020. Ford Explorer, the first one to have that on there and it's part of this package. Also, you get lane centering with that as well. So lane centering will help you keep you in your center of your lane when you have that cruise set. So great benefit there. Lane keeping system is gonna work with the cruise on or off. The lane centering will basically take, a, take over for that when you have that cruise set. So that way it keeps you in the center of your lane. You don't have to worry about getting too close to that line and it bumping you back up with the lane keeping system. So beautiful technology there. Also as part of this package, you're gonna get the evasive steering assist. So it's a pretty new technology. We did see it on the edge last year. Uh, and now it's gonna be on the Explorer. So if you have that, that you know, the situation where you're driving along and a car comes out and kind of pulls out maybe in a lane, go around a, a truck or something, doesn't see you, and you can't stop in time to hit them, and you need to steer out of the way. Uh, when you do that, the evasive steering is gonna help you and assist your steering so more severely turn away. So it is driver initiated, so it, it will not turn for you into other traffic. It is, uh, of course, all up to you, but it's gonna assist you so to help you avoid that even better. So that is a feature you can activate and deactivate. I've heard some people have uh, some concerns about that uh, system, but that can be, if that's something you don't like, you can deactivate it in your settings screen uh, as well right there. Also, the last feature on this is gonna be your navigation. Voice activated navigation with the PentaZoom capabilities. It's gonna come with a serious XM traffic and travel link as well, and all those great benefits with the PentaZoom for your uh, navigation, uh, being able to move it around, and then uh, be able to make those different, uh, those uh, great in the in touch screen navigation is what people call that. So some great benefits. It's a, a very uh, big package uh, we ordered on this particular vehicle as well. So that's something else you can get on the 202A equipment group. Now we're done with the packages. I want to talk about some standalone options. So there are about six standalone options that are available. Three of them are available on the 200 or 202A equipment group. Uh, the first one to talk about is your engine block heater. We see this can be available in about every vehicle in the Ford lineup. If you keep your vehicle outside in the winter time, uh, sometimes it's really hard for the, you know, those really cold winters to be able to start the vehicle. Engine block heater will keep that engine warmed up uh, so that it starts up real easy the next morning. Also, you can get the front license plate bracket. So in states that required a front tag bracket, it's gonna be a standalone option, or I mean, it's gonna be standard equipment. Uh, but in states like Kansas, where it does not we don't require a front tag, you want a personalized tag, uh, you will have to order that from, you can order it from the factory uh, and it'll be shipped with the vehicle. Uh, it is a no charge option though. So, and just keep in mind, that is also a feature you can order from your service department afterwards. They can slap it on for you really cheaply if you wanna do it that way as well. If you order it with your vehicle, it's gonna be no cost, but if you get it afterwards, the dealership usually will, you know, occur maybe a half hour labor or something to put, the, put it on the vehicle. Or you can put it on yourself if you'd like to. Also, as uh, another available feature that's available on either the 200 or 202 equipment group as standalone option is your all-weather mats. So all-weather mats are gonna go in the footwells in the front seat as well as the second row seat. They are kind of an all-weather material, protect it, especially in the wintertime with snow and rain and that kind of thing. You might get your feet wet. Uh, those all-weather mats will come in real handy. So not sure why they put this as a option from the factory because they are uh, available through your accessories or parts department and they could just be, you can slide them in yourself. So, but Ford always puts them in as a standalone option you order from the factory. Also three other options that are available for you. They require you to have the 202A equipment group. And the first one I talk about are these wheels. So 20 inch premium painted aluminum wheels. So that is the optional wheel. The only other wheel you can get on the XLT trim. Uh, real nice looking wheel that you can upgrade from your 18s to your 20s. Also the twin panel moonroof. Twin panel moonroof, we did order on this particular vehicle. It does require that 202A equipment group. Also requires these wheels and it requires you to have the comfort package. So it requires uh, both of those to get the twin panel moonroof. So really nice power sunshade that opens up. It will stop halfway uh, or just a little bit past that, uh, the front moonroof. And then you can open it up for anybody that's in the back seat that wants to have that opened. And then the, the power moonroof will glass will open as well. So twin panel moonroof, pretty popular as well. We ordered it on this particular unit. And the last feature we want to talk about is your second row seat. So if you have the 202A equipment group, you can get the bench seat. So it's a 35, 30, 35 is what Ford's calling it this year. 
that goes in the uh, second row seat there. Uh, so hopefully get some images off Ford's website. Still is gonna get that easy entry button on that seat to slide that forward uh, if you need to. It's also gonna come with armrest that can come down out of the middle backrest uh, of that seat so you can have an armrest in there since you'll lose that console on the floor. So some great options for you. Uh, so again, six great options. Uh, three require the 202A equipment group. Now look, let's talk about some different accessories you can get for your vehicle. Most of these can be ordered after you get your vehicle, but they can also be ordered from the factory, and the factory will ship them to the dealership ahead of time, put them in your vehicle when the vehicle arrives. First one I want to talk about is your wheel lock kit. So what's great about that, if you do upgrade to these 20 inch wheels, want to protect those, you can get a, it'll give you four locking lug nuts, you replace it with one of the originals and you'll have a wrench that goes with it. So wheel locking kit, I think it's about $75 and that's going to be available as uh, accessories for you. Also you can get splash guards. So if you plan on driving down dirt roads a lot or maybe go camping, you go off-roading a little bit, mud flaps can come in handy, kind of protect it from mud, rocks, that things are getting kicked up on the side of the vehicle. Also, you can get the crossbars. So you can get the uh, roof rack rail crossbars. They're going to be black. They'll go across there. You'll get two of those. Uh, so you can get that on there if you plan on putting luggage up there, that kind of thing. Uh, you might want to add that to your vehicle. Uh, also, if you're planning on getting any a different aftermarket accessory rack, like ski rack, or maybe a different bigger luggage rack, like a tool brand, uh, you will need these crossbars to put on it first to be able to put those other different racks on there. So that's also optional equipment for you there. Also, you can get a cargo mat. Cargo mat is a, a great addition for you. If you plan on leaving that third row seat down most of the time, you can get an all-weather mat, kind of like your all-weather liners on the inside, and it'll protect that cargo area back there from any different uh, spills and different things like that. So you plan on carrying a lot of things, all-weather mat, or a cargo mat, I should say, for the back is a great uh, addition for you. And the last thing is available only on the 200A equipment group. Uh, I do recommend that this is a feature you probably should get from the factory if you plan on and having it, and it's the dual headrest rear entertainment system. So it will replace the uh, current headrest that you get from the factory, and they will install that uh, in there. It'll play two different uh, videos. Uh, DVDs if you want to, you can even plug in audio sound, audio system or gaming systems into those as well. I'll have AV cable plugins for those and even have USB ports. So if you want to have your movies on a, US, uh, a USB drive or thumb drive for the kids to watch, you can plug those in. They'll have, they'll have two headrests or two headphones that'll come with as well. So great addition for you. It's about a $2,000 option. Uh, so those are your accessories that are available on the XLT uh, X Explorer for 2020. So that's all your standard as well as optional equipment for your XLT trim on the 2020 Ford Explorer. Also, don't forget about the warranties. Uh, Ford's warranty is a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty with a five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty and five-year, 60,000-mile roadside assistance. So pretty standard warranties on most of your other Ford vehicles uh, that have been carried over for the Explorer here. Don't forget, you can check out our current Explorer inventory on our website at lawnmacarthur.com. There on each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive, you can see pictures, even a VR experience. So an outside as well as an inside perspective on each one of our vehicles, new and used. Uh, so we do that. Also, you can pull up the original window sticker with a, a link uh, for the window sticker there. That way you can pull up the original window sticker and see the equipment, how it was uh, stocked from the factory. So you can see that. Uh, sometimes we do add some things to our vehicles. We'll add those in the comments down there, but you can pull the original window sticker as well there. Also, all of our pricing on our website are based off of the, uh, our zip code here. So sometimes, depending on your zip code and where you live, the rebates could change. So definitely go ahead and give us a call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031. Or you can call us toll free, 1-800-874-6316. So hope you enjoyed this video, our complete guide on the 2020 Ford Explorer XLT. If you watched the video at the beginning, I did see a little bit of a clip there about free shipping, and here's where we're gonna talk about that. Uh, here at Law MacArthur, we've uh, realized that a lot of people wanna work with us that live outside of our market area, because uh, they just wanna uh, know that they're getting the right vehicle from a good dealership that knows their inventory. And so we've decided that we'll give free shipping to anybody outside of our market area. We'll ship the vehicle to you. We just ask you to finance the vehicle with us for one of our lenders. Uh, that gives us uh, enough of the kickback from our, the lenders to be able to uh, pay for most of the shipping. And then pay for all of it, 
but it will pay for most of it in most parts of the country. So uh, make sure you give us a call. Uh, if you do give us a call, make sure you let the coordinators know uh, that you did see this video on YouTube and you like the free shipping on one of our vehicles. So great way you can order the vehicle exactly the way you want it to from a dealership that knows their product and then it's going to make sure you get the right vehicle uh, delivered right to your door and get a great internet price as well. So still honor the great online internet price as well. So definitely reach out to us. You can call or send us a text message 785-378-5031 or toll free 1-800-874-6316. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet and don't know what you're waiting on, hit that red subscribe button down below. That way you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel with some great Ford and Lincoln content as well as we have some great dedicated Roush uh, videos as well and we have a cool aftermarket videos too. So you definitely want to check out our, our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell as well. That way you get notified the next time we have another video like this uploaded to our YouTube channel. We have some more Explorer videos coming as well as some great informational videos. Definitely want to check those out. Hit that notification bell. Also, if you like this video, and I'm sure you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Let's other people know it's a great video and they need to watch. I'd appreciate it. It helps out the video and the channel. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Let people know that this is a video they have to see if they're interested in Explore XLT content. So again, thanks for watching this video. You can also reach out to us uh, if you want to on social media. We're at I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook or Twitter, as well as on our for Law MacArthur. We're at Law MacArthur on Twitter and Facebook as well. So real easy to uh, to find us on social media and stay updated to on all the different things we have going on here, any specials or sales that we have going on so you can get the, the best deal and uh, so kind of check out what Juan MacArthur is doing here uh, on uh, not only on YouTube but also on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget, drop those comments down below. I respond to all those and love getting that feedback. So thanks for watching this video. Till the next one, we'll see you later.